Should you dress up on your date or should you look laps up on your date? Hmm, good question, eh? This is your Gen Z talk show. Oops, sorry, forget one scene of the video. It's the uh, after the should we dress up or not, right? Should girls make the first move or should guys make the first move? This is your Gen Z talk show. Okay, for me, right, personally, I think that dressing up is uh, more like to impress. You dress to impress kind of thing. Let's say it's your first date. Then you should dress up, like, wear proper shirt, wear, like, like uh, nice kind of clothing, you know, kind of thing for first dates. Because first impression counts, right? Then, like, after a few dates, once you guys get together, you feel comfortable around each other. You don't want to wear so nice. Let's say you all don't want to wear so nice, right? You all can like wear something casual, like something laps up, t-shirt, short slippers. Why not, right? But it's your first date, right? I think you guys should put in a bit effort to wear nice, something nice. Don't have to be wow, so formal like some wedding only, lah. Can be just shirt, jeans, and normal shoes, or like t-shirt, jeans, normal shoes. The kind of thing. You don't have to wear like blazer la, tuxedo la, or you need that is for even more formal kind of uh, events, right? And to, to sum up this whole uh, question that you have, whether you should dress up or lap up on the first date, right, or any kind of dates, I think it's to communicate with your partner. Whether you ask him or her, hey, should we uh dress up on this like this? Should we wear nice on this date? Or should we wear something more comfortable? So basically, uh communication is key in the relationship. That's yes, important. I think you guys should talk to each other about it. Like plan ahead, you see. At least when you're plan ahead, you're communicate, right? And you all meet up for a date. At least one not like one is like wearing wow so nice and the other one's laps up. Because I've seen couples like wearing one laps up one nicely dress, right? So I didn't communicate. Yeah, that's all I have to say for this. Well, in my opinion, yeah. I I guess you could say that you should dress up. Doesn't mean you have to, right? Because, uh, you know, some people, they, they, they don't like that. They don't like to dress up because you know it's too it's too much work but if you're going on a date you might as well just put it in that little extra effort try make a try you know give yourself an edge personally i i would but uh that that's just me personally i know some people who wouldn't try i guess but that's because they're confident if you're not so confident, maybe, you know, go, just go with your gut instinct, all right? This, it's, it's sort of a lucky draw anyway. You don't need to try if you don't want to. And you also got to factor in what the other person likes. If, uh, you know, your partner, he, she doesn't like something too fancy, you know, more casual, then, then yeah, go with that. Hmm, second point, right, should girls make their first move? Wow, sensitive topic to some. Honestly, come on guys, it's, uh, it's not in those days where guys should make their first move. I think now girls, I've seen girls making their first move, not, not always, not always, no. No, but I think there are some girls who are more brave in the sense that hey, like I like you, then uh they will make the first move that kind of thing, then I mean this is twenty twenty two right? It's a new generation, a new era, a new what's that word? New. Century, like new century, that kind of thing. 
And we're not living in those days where guys make the first move. But so I think that girls can make the first move. If you like the guy enough, I think you can. Because uh, most Singaporean guys don't have the balls or don't have the game to move, make a move on a girl they like. For example, for me, right, based on experience, right, I have liked a girl more than like a few years, that kind of thing. And I have never made a move on her because I'm scared, you see. Because why guys don't make the first move on girls is because they are scared. We are scared. I mean, personally, I'm scared that if I confess to her, it may affect our friendship that we built over the past few years, right? Then I'm like, what's the point of losing a friend just because of some uh, relationship kind of thing, right? Uh, dating la, or marriage. Why? That kind of thing, you see. Yeah, so I think girls... Any girls, you like any guys out there watching this video, right? And you like a guy, right? I think that you should make the first move. No, legit. No, legit. You may think like, what the heck? Why should I make the first move? I thought guys should make the first move. No, no, no. No, girl. I think girls, you can, you can make the first move too. Yeah, I think you can. No, you should actually. Now, especially with most guys who don't have the balls, the game to do it. We are afraid that we may affect our friendship. Yeah, yeah, so, girls, carry on. I, honestly, I, I, I wouldn't know. It'd be nice for people to, you know, make the first move, but usually it's always the guy, you know, saying, uh, hey, you know, I, I really like you, and yeah, so, so yeah, usually the men would, would, you know, be uh, the ones to, to make the first move, but uh, I guess, I mean, I've, I've never really heard of girls making the first move only in movies only in movies I've seen that yeah, I think I like you. I've it's usually the guy it's usually the guys uh, unless unless we're talking about you know those hot guys right those those guys that are really handsome and yeah Girls probably make the first move. I am. I'm, I'm presuming, but uh, yeah, you know, it's just just remember carpe diem. Don't 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 try. Don't live regretfully, right? Because if you really like someone, then you you, you would try. You would try. I mean, it's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying. Whoever, whomever this person may be, you should, you know, you should try making the first move. It's, the worst is rejection, and that can hurt a lot. But, you know, you gotta take your chances. Carpe diem. So to conclude this whole video, uh, communication is key. Communicate your partner. Should you or should you not dress up? Yeah. And first date, try to dress up. First impression counts. Okay, it's always the first impression that counts. So try to dress up, I guess. Second point, girls. You can make the first move. It's not always a must for the guy. It's not always a must for the guy to make the first move, okay? No. There's no such thing. In this world, there's no such thing. Oh, a guy should make the first move, what? No, ah. Uh. Girls who can, ah. Uh. Yeah. So, yeah, we have come to the end of this episode. Do remember to smash the like button, share your friends, subscribe, uh, ask us any questions on our Discord, our YouTube. Ch our comments are open. Our, our Instagram page is open. Yeah, just really just ask us questions. The link for our merch is also below. Go check it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Action.
Should you dress up on your date or should you look laps up on your date? Hmm. Good question, yeah. Cut. Action. Good question, A. This is your Gen Z talk show. Cut. 